Here we're going to review G-protein signaling. This is the one signaling cascade pathway that you have to have memorized at least through the first several steps. And the reason for that is that this is one of the most common signaling pathways that cells can use. At the end of these steps, it kind of diverges and you can get a lot of different responses due to this, but this is kind of a common um, concept, common technique for signaling with a lot of different cells. So we know that by default, a signaling pathway should be off. And so by default, our G protein complex is off. If the alpha, beta, and gamma subunits are together, that equals off. And this happens when the alpha is GDP bound. So when the alpha has GDP to it, all three of these subunits are together and that is off. All right? Now we know that in order for a signal to be activated, we need a ligand binding to a receptor. And when that ligand binds to the receptor, we get a confirmation change on the cytoplasmic domain. This confirmation change then causes the GDP to be exchanged for GTP. So what was GDP in the alpha subunit now becomes GTP. And the key here is that that causes the alpha subunit to release from the beta and the gamma subunits. And this is now activated version. So when they're all three together and alpha has GDP, they are off. When the alpha has GTP and they've become separated, they are now on. And this activated alpha pro G protein with the GTP then moves on and activates adenyl cyclase. So adenyl cyclase that gets turned on. So we have alpha, the alpha G subunit activating adenyl cyclase. That's right here. And this adenyl cyclase then converts ATP to cyclic AMP. And that cyclic AMP is critical because it actually inhibits a pKa inhibitor and the pKa inhibitor is normally inhibiting pKa so if you inhibit the inhibitor you've turned the inhibitor off and now pKa is actually active so in other words pKa inhibitor is normally inhibiting pKa but if you inhibit the pKa inhibitor pKa then becomes on and that is the last part of this pathway that you need to remember and this kinase we remember that kinases phosphorylate to other proteins, and the phosphorylation turns them on or off. They are like switches. Right? After a while, this system will turn itself back off. So the GTP by default will turn back into GDP, and then that causes all three of the alpha, beta, gamma subunits to come back together, and then it turns the system's turned off again by default. But if you have more ligand, it'll turn right back on and continue until ligand is gone, and then the default pathway turns itself off once again.